Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy Shenarigan, and at this channel, we talk about everything DIY, um, renovations, luxury, lifestyle, anything that will make you feel happy, improve your life, we talk about it here. So I know that typically we talk about all those previous things that we just talked about. However, there are about three videos that really went viral, and those videos are more around health. These, the health videos are around when I had my surgery, my hysterectomy, and things of that nature. Now, for the men who watch my channel for DIY and renovations, this, this video may not be for you. It's okay. Go ahead and hit that like button anyway, so that way I can get that algorithm good, and I want to come back to you with the DIY and renovations. However, my ladies were really asking me a few questions that I really, 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 really want to do, dedicate a video for them now men if you want to watch because your your significant other is going through the same type of things continue to watch i love the love but today we are focusing on hysterectomy surgery now let's get into it i had a hysterectomy after my second child he is turning seven in a little while so that means i am five years post or six years post five or six years I need to I'll put up on the screen exactly how many years post surgery I am um, a little bit of background before my hysterectomy I'm in my 20s I think it was around 26 I had my right ovary removed but everything else was there everything else was there I had the right ovary removed removed because um, it was causing me a lot of pain because there were a lot of cysts around my ovaries. Not because of fibroids, because of the cysts around the ovaries. And if you know, ladies, once a cyst pops, it's very painful. I got tired of going through that once a month. And I said, it's best if I just get that ovary removed. And my doctor told me that on the left side, that my um, the ovary that remains will go ahead and just do double function right and that's exactly what it would happen about nine months after my surgery about no sorry about 12 months after my surgery I had my first son <laughs> so it worked um, but I still experienced pain for my cycle and then also um, well afterwards and then um, you know my second son came and um, because I have a history of cancer and then also I was still experiencing that can that pain um, my doctor told me that you know the chances of it turning into cancer was a little bit higher than others and my husband and I we decided to go ahead and have the hysterectomy I didn't want any kids I'm not of any more kids I'm I'm not a person who carries well. You know how some pregnancies, people are just so happy and go, look, oh yes, I'm pregnant. They could walk around and have all this energy. That was not me, not me at all, all right? Both of my pregnancies were um, high risk. One of them, my first pregnancy, um, I almost passed and my son, my oldest son almost passed as well. My second pregnancy, um, it was about to turn that way. But because of the history of my first pregnancy, we were able to catch it in time and have a planned um, a planned birth. So that is the history, right? So my hysterectomy, and I had my hysterectomy, they left one ovary, which is my left ovary. I do not have a uterus. I do not have fallopian tubes. Um, I already had my right ovary removed. Um, I still have my cervix, but um, yeah, everything else was taken out except for my left ovary. They left my, my doctor left my left ovary so that way I won't have to worry about hormones, taking hormone pills. I still have estrogen in my body. So that's the key. I still have my estrogen. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys, I apologize. I still have estrogen being created. Now, for those of you that were asking about, and this video is specifically about what happens to my body. My other videos were more close to the time where I had the surgery. This one, five years later, what am I noticing? Okay, I am noticing that I still have 
On my right lower side, I still have sometimes a little bit of a pulling, like a pulled muscle sensation. And here's the reason why. Whenever I activate my bottom, well, my ab muscles, I feel that pulling sensation. And mind you, remember what I said, I had already had a surgery in my 20s. I had two cesareans, and then I had my hysterectomy. That's four times I've had surgery in that area. So that muscle is, to, is damaged. Um, I didn't start feeling that pulling sensation until um, this year, this year. And I feel like my, the bottom of my food pile has become more noticeable. It's probably gotten a little bit larger. Although I have not really gained the weight for the food pile to do for that to happen. So I feel like some of my body has moved downward a little bit. Now, granted, my, um, my, my genetically, that's how our bodies are shaped but I'm just noticing that. I did not wear a um, like anything to compress in my stomach, um, no spank, I didn't wear any spanks or any of that nature. Uh, right after my hysterectomy, I did lose about 20 pounds. So I went down to a size 8'10", which is really small for me, I'm 5'8". <clears throat> Excuse me. Recently, due to the pandemic, I've gained some weight. I didn't gain all of my weight back. But now I'm up to a 10, 12. Um, and so as I'm experiencing this, I'm experiencing my body changing. And a little bit of that is because it's a little bit, it's nothing holding down there. My uterus is not there. So maybe things have shifted down and I'm older. I've noticed my body has changed because I'm older. I've gotten gray hair. Um, my energy is not as much as it used to be. I'm older now. Um, my muscle that I had used to have is not as tight as it used to be because I'm older. So the questions I have is, have I experienced things shifting downward? Has my body changed? Yes, it has changed. It has changed because I'm older. And also because I'm older and my muscles are not as tight as it used to be, I feel like my body has shifted down. So, um... It is not anything considerably noticeable, but because I see myself in the mirror every day, I can see it. Um, is it, does it cause me to have any regrets? No. Listen, I don't have a cycle once in a while. No pads, no tampons. I'm not hurting once a month, excruciating pain once a month. I can dig it. I mean, I think it's an even, you know, I think it's even, I really do. Um, again, it's not anything to where my stomach is down to my knees. That's not what I'm saying. Um, my doctor, my gynecologist did say, well, maybe if I'm feeling that pulling sensation that I need, maybe some physical therapy to help um, with training my muscle because it's been cut so many times. So that way I can have some physical therapy to help that muscle down, where, down there. I try to be active. I walk a lot. Recently, I'm trying to um, ride my bike a little bit more. And all those things, even though that's made a little bit less impact, it's still engaging my ab muscles. And so that's why recently I was feeling it more because I'm doing more um, walking and, and riding, your, riding your bike is more strenuous exercise than just walking. I lost that 20 pounds by walking and, and also by what I was eating. Now I'm more active. I've been playing basketball with my son. Y'all help me. Please help me because this is hard. Um... <laughs> Playing basketball with a 13-year-old, I don't know what I'm thinking, but you know, I'm more active and I'm engaging that muscle more and I can really feel it. I can really feel it sometimes when that happens. Um, another thing that's a little bit wonky is um, my left ovary is no longer to the left. It's in the middle. Yes, your ovaries can shift. And um, I don't have a left ovary, I have a middle ovary. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the weirdest thing ever. I have a middle ovary. How about that? Hi, okay. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to let you know as well that with my um, hysterectomy or health videos, I always respond to those comments. If I've missed your, um, your question, please put a comment again because um, 
I take these videos very seriously about the health because I know I've been through them. I've definitely been through the puffy stomach. I've been through the gas pains right after your surgery. I've been through feeling bad because I can't have kids anymore. I've been through the pain. So I know what it's like, so I take these very seriously. So please make sure you comment at the bottom. If you don't comment on any other video, like the luxury videos or the DIY product, product, projects, I don't care. But these videos, make this, this one, you can comment and leave a question. And a lot of people will respond answering um, if I don't answer in time, I've seen that a lot of my subscribers or viewers will respond as well. So I promise you, I will respond if you have a specific question or even a statement. Um, I will respond to you. That is my promise to you. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Um, if you like the con um, information, please like and subscribe so you can see more, um, so more videos, more content about something a little bit, a lighter subject around DIY, luxury, um, renovations, just a little bit about my life. All right, thank you so much for watching as always and peace.